state biologists on Wednesday recommended against designating the western Joshua tree as threatened with extinction, saying claims in a petition filed by environmentalists about the effects climate change will have on the living symbols of the California desert are premature. A final decision by the State Fish and Game Commission on a petition filed by the Center for Biological Diversity is expected in June. If the Joshua tree is not listed as threatened, it will be up to local jurisdictions to set limits on development of commercial, residential and solar and wind projects across thousands of acres of southeastern California's sunniest real estate. About 40% of the western Joshua trees ranges on private land, where state endangered species laws would apply, according to the petition. The area includes the rapidly growing cities of Palmdale, Lancaster, Hesperia, Victorville, and Yucca Valley. The renewable energy industry, while under fire for gobbling up desert land, maintains that by helping to eliminate greenhouse gas emissions, it is helping to mitigate climate change and the threat it poses to development of sensitive desert species such as the Western Joshua Tree. The Western Joshua Tree is currently abundant and widespread, wrote authors of a 158-page analysis made public Wednesday. This abundance substantially lowers the threat of extinction within the foreseeable future, the document said. The analysis determined that scientific evidence currently possessed by state wildlife authorities does not demonstrate that populations of the species are negatively trending in a way that would lead the department to believe that the species is likely to be in serious danger of becoming extinct. Advocates of Western Joshua trees vigorously objected to the recommendation. Current domestic and global warming trends cast doubt on the tree's future survival, said Brennan Cummings, conservation director of the Center for Biological Diversity and a resident of the San Bernardino County Desert. The species will likely be close to extinction in California by centuries in, he said. Put another way, when the Titanic hit the iceberg. The ship's captain didn't wait until nearly everyone on board had drowned to issue an SOS, he added. But that is essentially what state biologists are asking us to do with Western Joshua trees in distress. As of this month, the entire range of the Western Joshua tree remains in severe or extreme drought and a recent National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration report predicted those conditions may become the norm after 2030. Scientific modeling suggests the Western Joshua Tree and Joshua Tree National Park will lose upwards of 90% of its current range by the end of the century, 